Hey guys and gals, I'm Rose the Raver with I Heart Raves, and today I'm here to teach you how to make a simple 3D cuff. 3D cuffs start out with a simple x base cuff and then can be added in multiple layers to create a fun 3D look. Typically there is a small toy, charm, or perler added to the finished product. Let's get started. For this project, you will need the following supplies. Pony beads in various colors to match your charm and pattern, elastic, at least a card, a plastic yarn needle, scissors, charm, plastic figure or perlers, and optional small cups to separate out beads by colors. Next, you're ready to come up with a pattern and start your 3D candy cuff. Begin by selecting two colors and stringing them onto the elastic in the following pattern. Two main colors, in this example white, and one accent color, in this example purple. Repeat two main beads, one accent bead, until the end. By the end, you will have a total of 11 sets or 33 beads. Test the single on your arm for fit. Adjust the pattern by sets of three to increase or decrease the size. I find that 33 is a good size for the upper arm of a smaller woman. For guys' upper arms, I would go up to 39 beads or 13 sets. Once you have adjusted the size to your arm, tie off the single with a double knot. Do not cut the elastic. You will need almost the whole card for this one project. Feel free to adjust the colors to fit the charm you want to add or just your favorite colors. Next, you will string three beads on the elastic. One main bead, one accent bead, and another main bead. Then take the needle with the elastic on it and put it through the first accent bead on the left of where you tied off the single. Pull the needle through, tightening up the elastic, but don't pull it too tight. You still want the elastic to have some give. Repeat this pattern over and over through each accent bead with one main bead, one accent bead, and one main bead until you reach the last accent bead on the base single. Continue with this pattern in a counterclockwise rotation until you have reached the last accent bead on the base single. String on the last set of three beads and put the needle through the last accent bead on the base row as well as the main bead and accent bead of the next row up which is also the row you just completed. To start the next row, string one main bead, one accent bead, and one main bead onto the elastic, and string the needle through the next accent bead to the left, following the pattern around counterclockwise. Continue this pattern, adding more and more rows. The cuff will fan open at first, as seen here, but don't worry, the cuff will start to take shape around row three. Ensure you keep the elastic tight, but not too tight. The fanning out effect will be fixed when the last row is added to the inner cuff. Keep adding rows until you get the desired height, but remember to make it an odd number so the pattern works out. For the example shown, I have five rows, including the base, and then the closing or top row. Once you have reached your desired height, add two more main beads between each accent bead and then tie off the inner cuff with a double knot. But remember, do not cut the elastic. Select the next three beads for your pattern. Two outer, two inner, and one middle. String the beads on the needle in the following order. Outer, inner, middle, inner, then outer. Next, count three accent beads down diagonally on the cuff from where you tied it off and string the needle through the accent bead. Stringing the same pattern, outer, inner, middle, inner, then outer, and count up three accent beads diagonally and string the needle through. Follow this zigzag pattern all the way around the top row of the cuff. Once you have completed the zigzag pattern all the way around the top of your cuff, you will cross back over to make the X pattern. String one outer and one inner bead onto the needle and put the needle through the middle bead and string on one inner and one outer and string through the third diagonal accent bead on the base cuff. Follow the same pattern going through the middle bead each time to create an X pattern with the beads.
Keep following this pattern around the cuff until you have an X pattern all the way around the top row, what was previously three rows of the cuff. Then follow the same pattern for the bottom row until you have the X pattern all the way around the cuff. Select your last pattern of beads. For the outer X pattern, you will need to place the beads in the following order. First outer bead, second outer bead, inner bead, then string the needle through the middle accent bead, then inner bead, second outer bead, first outer bead. Then string the needle through the middle bead in the previous level. Follow this order with the zigzag pattern stringing the needle through the middle bead on the lower level E. Once you complete the zigzag pattern all the way around, go back the other way again, completing the X pattern. String the beads in the following pattern. First outer bead, second outer bead, inner bead, then string the needle through the middle accent bead, once through the accent bead, follow the pattern. Inner bead, second outer bead, first outer bead, then through the middle X on the lower level of the cuff. Follow this order until you get to the second to last X. On the last X string, add on the charm you want to use. I'm using a plastic Hello Kitty figure. Wrap the string around the figure multiple times to ensure it stays attached. Then tie the cuff off with a triple knot and cut the string. You can add letter beads or other accents to the pattern if you want to make it more personal and original. If you are adding a purler, finish off the cuff pattern all the way around and use clear elastic to sew it to the cuff in a few different places to ensure it's secure. That's the basics for the 3D cuff, but there is so much room for creativity. You can make them huge where they become epic cuffs, or you can make them really small and cute. The outer row doesn't have to follow the X pattern either. You can make the rows go around. The sky's the limit. Just play around with it until you find something you like. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and easy to follow. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe below. We want to hear your feedback. What do you want to see? Tune in next time where I'll be teaching you how to make the much requested surgical mask. I'm Rose the Raver, and I heart raves. Do you?